Hi, and you're welcome back to The Simple Creative. If you're new here, my name is Oladimiji Ajakbile, and this is a podcast for those brave enough to start up something from nothing. Um, for our previous listeners or our old listeners, you'd know that a couple of weeks ago, we took a break to be able to reflect and know how to re-strategize and put The Simple Creative back with so much value and even amazing guests. And while that break was going on, um, the world pandemic struck and uh, it has been on, you know, on a pause ever since. However, during the period of this break, I got to thinking and um, I realized that this podcast would have what it is for the past one year without your input, without your encouragement, and without you committing to listening to this podcast. And um, I really want to appreciate you all for doing that. Thank you so much for being there all this while, for always supporting and for always encouraging. So um, in the bit to actually look for a way to appreciate you, um, I've learned that one of the ways to appreciate someone is to offer them something valuable um, as an appreciation. And while I can send you physical gifts, uh, I decided to share um, something really special to me, which is a couple of experiences I've had and um, just a, an encouragement to you as creatives, you know, to keep living your life, to keep doing what you do best and never give up. So um, I wrote you a letter and um, I'm reading this letter to you right now. <clears throat> now, it's a letter that if I had my way, I'll have sent it to you, the physical copy, but I can't do that. So um, I'm reading it to you and I really hope this inspires you to keep doing what you do best, to never give up, to remain or allow your creativity out. Um, yeah, let me just read it to you so I don't bore you with all the extra, extra gist. All right, so here it goes. <coughs> They're creative. I know you are amazing. And your life is a collection of beautiful, messy, deeply fulfilling and complex work. But it all starts within, a desire to do work that matters, to make a difference, a yearning for beauty and a spark of creativity. Now all these require you to take risks, to listen, to adapt and to live with abandon. It's what all artists do really. We dream, we try, we create and we innovate. Now there will be good days times when you feel like you're making a difference, creating something beautiful and truly serving people. And like anything in life, there will be hard days mixed in as well. There will be times when you feel powerful and capable, when you know the work you're doing is significant and important. And there will be days when you feel small, unappreciated and perhaps even invincible. But I'm here to tell you to keep going anyway. Make art and beauty with everything you have to give. Put it all out there. Invest yourself and your time in others. Know that the seed you sow matter because you never know who needs to see or hear what you have to share. Some will criticize your work, your content, your ideas, and your leadership. It may feel as if they don't value your contributions, your experiences, or your perspective. But remember that your worth isn't found in your work. Your value isn't defined by what you do, or what you accomplish, or even what you create. So don't get lost in the shadow of other people's opinions because your work matters, your content matters, and you do matter. It's not the critical counts. So remember why you started and remember why it matters to you. Creativity is a living, breathing thing, an extension of our very hearts. So treat it with care, but don't keep it to yourself because your gift was meant to be heard, seen, shared, and experienced. So pour your heart and your soul into your content but take the time and space you need to be refilled. Learn to listen to the quiet voice within you that tells you when to rest. Things don't always go as planned, and that's okay, because sometimes you're better off because of it. So be flexible and adapt to change. Don't get too caught up in the plan. There are many paths to success, and some have yet to be forged. Know that you will make mistakes, because creativity is an imperfect journey after all. But keep creating. Don't let failure define who you are or what you are able to do. Don't let it hold you back and don't let it keep you from taking risks. Never lose your sense of wonder and curiosity. Press on, dream new dreams, face new challenges, overcome fear with boldness and overcome failure with grace. Work to create art, value and beauty every day. Build a community, encourage one another and empower others to share their hearts too. And at the end of the day, Know that it's a privilege to do the work we do, to create beauty and share our art with the world and never lose sight of that. Cheering you on, 
Olajimeji. Well, my heart was racing when I was reading that, but uh, I just wanted to know that the world is waiting or is waiting to, is yearning to see the content you have. You never can tell what you have in your mind, what you have in your heart, what your story can do for someone else. I remember on my episode, on, on a podcast episode with Salem King, he talked about how valuable your story has to be because you need to tell it. Because if you don't, it's possible that you're depriving someone of the freedom they require at that point in time. So please, um, as much as you're creative, as much as you're facing challenges, make sure that the work you do is not taken for granted. Make sure that you're giving yourself um, the motivation and the, the, the required energy you need. Because if no one else cheers you up, please remember that I'm cheering you up. I'm cheering for you. And you should also do that for yourself. Um, I believe this episode has, you know, been interesting for me, even though it is short. Um, I hope it really helps you too. If you want to listen to this letter again, please make sure to listen. And if you want to have a copy of this, uh, just send me a message, maybe on Instagram or wherever it is. And I'll make sure that you receive a copy of this letter. Thank you so much for listening to this particular episode. Subsequently, we'll be having more episodes every Wednesday, even during the course of this pandemic and quarantine. There'll be more episodes and I'll be featuring a couple of guests. So thank you so much for staying tuned and for listening. And um, I'll see you next Wednesday.